Hey, good morning, folks. So I got a project for you. I uh, halfway desert landscape my backyard, as you can see the dirt. Uh, yeah, I just can't deal with it anymore. So I rocked all this and I used a terrace board at first, which it's been what, maybe a year and a half. Looks like total crap. As you can see the dogs, they break it and I didn't even dig it into the ground. I just kind of put it in there with stakes. It just like, look at this, all the rocks kind of spew out. We got separation here. Uh, yeah, it just looks totally like crap. So I decided to go with this coagulated metal, six inch depth, which I wish I would have got the eight because you can see how thick these rocks are. However, I uh, basically just did what the video said is to dig a trench all the way around. You see? And so went all the way around, which will help the rocks maybe fall down a little bit more. They won't be as high. Get yourself one of these uh, edging type shovels, okay? Literally took me about 20 minutes to do all of that. Really, it wasn't that bad. I did it in the morning where it's not sweltering here in Texas heat. And uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, lay this into the trench, probably start at one end. And you want to get yourself a rubber mallet. You can use a rubber mallet directly on the metal, but it's not recommended. And I didn't really have any scrap wood laying around, so I'm going to use this, I don't know, cut. One more thing, if you got a pair of these like pruners or whatever they call these, like these will cut right through the sheet metal, no problem. Just keep that in mind if you got something like this laying around. All right, final product. So like I showed you, it was completely impossible to hammer it into this hard Texas sandy soil. Luckily, we had a few days, quite a few days of rain um, that significantly helped. I just took my little rubber mallet and started pounding it and it was going down like maybe about an inch or more. So I, the rule of thumb, I think, is to get it down to where there's no play. You see, there's just no play. You want it in there to where it's stiff. And now it's still damp. I didn't want to push the rocks up against it too hard. You can see I had a my original barrier that was with the brown crap that I had the terrace board. I left that in there because it's so low, just as an extra barrier to kind of keep the rocks off. Um, it's going to be completely covered once we move the rocks back. But um, let the ground dry before I move all the rocks uh, to the edge. I don't want my edge spewing over, right? So I am an amateur at this, guys. I had no freaking idea what I was doing. All I was told to do was dig a trench and hammer the crap in. Not that easy. From hammering directly on the metal, you can see we got dings. Get a pair of pliers. If they're sharp like this, and do it. If you bend it, you can actually bend it back with your hand. So that's the one. It's it's pretty, whatever you want to call it, pliable, bendable. You can see. So we, we, we added this much more room of rock to fall. So... All in all, if you don't have rain, this is where it connected because it was two 40 pieces. So that's the 40 piece on this side and the 40 piece on that side. Um, so yeah, highly recommend you soak your ground, let it get in there. See how I got these gaps? So while the ground is wet, I want to kind of seal that, right? So it dries cements itself in the right answer would have been i should have bought some sand or some more soil and went down and filled it all in first but i'm lazy i'm only going to be in this house for like nine ten more months and that's that so you see there's bends and stuff you can bend that back out i'm just not going to be too thorough today uh but i hope you all got something out of this the, the the key is there's another bend right there just get your pliers and bend it out but the key is do it when the ground is wet few inches at a time. That is all. I hope this helps someone. And I thought I'd end it on a good note with a nice dog turd. Thank you. Have a great day. It was your fault.